Hey, what's going on there, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. My name is Jonathan Snow. Right now, it is 7.17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, February 27, 2017. Uh, we have a new pack, Valkyrie's Rage. It just came out, um, just came live at 7 o'clock. And um, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to take a look at some of the cards. I'm not going to go in-depth because I really want to get this video out there to you guys right now. Uh, you do when you do log in, you get uh, 500 gems for free. So we're gonna go ahead, really briefly, uh, examine some of the cards that are gonna be really awesome to get, and um, and just give you my initial opinion on the set. Um, this card is actually pretty strong. Uh, Sky Scourge in Rise. Uh, once per turn, you can remove from play one face-up monster on the field. If you have to effect, this card cannot attack during this turn. This card is the first card that we can ever remove one light, one dark. Um, this one needs three light fairies and one dark fiend. So if you can make a deck around this type of card, this card could be very, very strong, especially for this type of game. So definitely a very good card to look out for. Um, big core, this one isn't too great in my opinion. If this card is normal summon, you can place three counter that cannot destroy by battle. Um, actually, to be honest, to be honest, since the mirror wall is a thing, um, it's, it's staying alive on the board can actually be pretty strong and it's 2300 attack So I, you know what? It, it cannot be destroyed by battle and you got to remove the counter So you know what to be honest this card is actually pretty decent for what it is because especially for this game for this mobile game is really good Then we have my favorite the fiend mega cyber if your opponent controls at least two more mo two or more monsters You can just special summon right to the board. So that's super awesome very strong card, especially what a lot of people like to play, Bonomic Vermins, or they like to have a, a lot of the 1900 beaters from the Rex Raptor decks and stuff like that. Fiend Mega Cyber, summon it, boom, bring out another guy, boom, attack, you know, it's pretty good, very strong card. Uh, Dimensional Alchemist, um, it gains 500 attack. Uh, you can, once per turn, you can activate this effect, remove from play one top card of your deck. This card gains 500 attack. It's in an end phase. If this card is destroyed, you can add that card. Um, to your hand, so that's actually pretty strong uh, For for a card that you could just summon it and it could become what is it a uh, six seven eight eighteen hundred attacker Which can pretty much run over a lot of the 1700 1650 monsters Very strong and it, when it dies you get that card so you don't lose anything so And it combos well with the sky scourge because it is a fairy so it's a good combo good combos there especially the um, You know really good combo there so a sword priest one of the OG uh, cards it is a fairy monster but it can punch everybody and then it goes right back to your hand so it's it's a really strong card like I said especially you could go like uh, give it an equip card and then you can just punch everything and then uh, you know clear the board and then attack directly very strong uh, there we finally have our 1800 first ever attacker uh, fairy a not a, what is it the nominous dark witch very strong um definitely good soul exchange such an old school card back in the day even the first uh, kaiba and yugi pack they had soul exchange this card is so good especially for this type of game it's going to be game changing so definitely look for soul exchange nobleman of extermination finally if for dragon for dragon people or uh, dragon players that actually got stamping destruction now we actually have normal extermination which is pretty much does the same thing but it, it, you know you get rid of a card and if it's a trap card uh, we both players have to remove the same card so basically if people play multiple mirror walls <laughs> we're gonna lose our mirror walls so very very strong card definitely want to get one of those escape from dark dimension this is basically like a Call of the Haunted, but for move from play only for dark monsters. So another card that's going to be very strong in this format. Uh, Divine Wrath. Very good. Very good. It stops those pesky um, Spear Karibos from your from your opponent's hand. So definitely very strong. So a lot of these Ultra Rares, to be honest, I don't mind getting. It's very, very awesome. Then we have just Honorable Mentions, Whitehorn Dragon. Another tribute monster it could gain stronger um if you play if your opponent plays a lot of spell cards uh very strong card uh let's see here some of these cards are kind of new because they they came out when i stopped playing the game like wreck panda i believe can be very strong too uh let's see once per turn during your standby phase you can pay 500 life points send the top card of your deck to the graveyard 
And if you do, this card gains attack and defense equal to that numbers by 200. If it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can add one monster from the lowest level from your graveyard to your hand if your choice if tied. Seems pretty interesting. I don't know if I would run it to be honest, but it seems very interesting. A very old school card, Zing, Zing Zhang Hu. Uh, when you're this this card basically can uh, put a lockdown to your opponent's mirror walls or their Michizoris and stuff like that. So definitely very strong card. I definitely would like to run that. Adhesive Trap Hole is not Trap Hole, but it can definitely uh, put a um, you know a bad taste in your opponent's mouth. Because when your opponent summons like a 1700 beater, it'll become what, like a 650 or something like that. So it's pretty awesome. Um, Ghost Side of Jackal. I think he'll be very strong in this format now. Especially when we have Mirror Wall. A 1700 beater can special summon your opponent's monster to your side of the field. Very strong card. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the General 2 is another one. Uh, hand Disruption. It stops your, um, you know, your opponent loses a card from the hand if it inflicts battle damage. Uh, we have another draw card, which will be very nice to have as well. Uh, there is another card I saw here earlier. Uh, let's see here. Um, trying to see. This guy is actually pretty... No, where is he at? This guy right here. It's pretty pretty unique. If you control a Dark Monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And you only can do it. So, basically, if you can go... Uh, you could probably do like the, the Dimension, bring back a Dark... Special summon him, bring out a two tribute monster. Very, very strong. Uh, we have Moisture Creature. I remember I used to run this back in the day against my friends. I definitely use Soul Exchange for this. So you can use like a combo with Binomic Vermin. Uh, your opponent attacks it, you get one, you flip one up. Soul Exchange their monster, triple summon for Moisture Creature, destroy all their back rows. You can't attack, but you destroy the back rows. And we already know if you have a high level, uh, level attacking monster in this game, you pretty much win in this game. So, very, very strong card there as well. <clears throat> uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, I think everything else, like we have Chain Strike stuff, which doesn't make sense because uh, you can only activate, uh, only activate if your opponent's spell track cards are all, uh, all occupied. This could be pretty good because a lot of people you already see turn one, they go set, 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 everything, and go, and you'll be like, oh my goodness, you know they have a bunch of trap cards. So straight flush can be kind of situational, very situational card. I don't know if I would run it. Um, like I said, very situational. I don't think I would probably run that card. But hey, if it go, if it works, it works. You know what I mean? Um, everything else um, is kind of mediocre. I don't see anything like too great outside of that. Uh, what I mentioned, uh, they have chain strike stuff here, which doesn't make sense because you can't have more than three spell and trap card slots. So you need five zones for this. Um, and everything else I think is pretty much like meh. Uh, my overall opinion on the set is okay. The ultra rares are very strong. Definitely want to get those. So now, now you guys are here. We're going to open about uh, 20 packs and see what we get. Hopefully we get soul exchange. Some of the, the awesome ultra rares. Let's, let's just see what we get. Here we go. Alright. Chaos zone. Okay, nothing too great there in that pack. Uh, not so great. Not so great. Oh my. Was that like the same pack? Alright, so this is our first SR. We got Moisture Creature. Awesome. I, I want that. And Cyber Raider. If this card uh, activated the following effect, equip cards. Target one equip uh, card. Uh, equip to a monster. Don't fear destroy it. Try equip card to a monster. And equip on the ah, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't really care for that one. Oh, I got my hopes up there. Nothing too great there. Ghost Knight Jackal, that's what I wanted. Okay, so I definitely want some soul exchange. Need some soul exchanges. If I can get three in a place that would be really awesome. Alright, let's see what else we get here. Accumulator Fortune, you can only activate a chain, chain link four. I, I used to run a chain strike deck. This is a very strong card, but like I said, you need five uh, spell and trap guard zones. Um, this one's actually a pretty decent one, too. Uh, when this card is tribute summoned successfully, your opponent cannot declare an attack during their next turn. So, it's a very, it's a good stall card. So, it's pretty interesting. Skull Layer is also another card I forgot to mention. Remove and play any number of monsters from your graveyard to, to destroy one face of monster whose level stars are totaled. So, uh, from the roof and play. So, basically, if your opponent has a four-star monster, you activate this. You have four monsters in your graveyard. 
remove those four, you can blow up their monsters. So, definitely good combo card with that card is a Magical Merchant. That was, I think, in the, um, the Neo set. Okay, our first Ultra Rare. Our first Ultra Rare is the Trap card. Oh, man, what's the, what's the Trap card? Divine Wrath. Okay, Divine Wrath is decent. I, I don't know if I would run it just yet. I don't know. We got another SR? Nope. Okay. Um, I may, I may run it, because I have to see if I have to, if I can fit it, because you do have to discard one card from your hand, so, that is a thing, so not too bad, uh, we got one Ultra Rare, and we got one SR, so that's not, that's not too bad, um, this, also this pack is 200, so, 200 packs in there, so it's a very heavy set, um, here we go, another 10, Hopefully we get that soul exchange. If I get that soul exchange, I am resetting the box. Without a shot of a doubt. Angel 07. Uh not 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 that great. Um effect monsters can activate effect but it's a double tribute. Eh. Could be better. Uh Pineapple Blast is is pretty interesting. It can be good, but it's very situational card. I don't know. I don't think I would run it to be honest. Uh, Veil of Darkness is just like um, uh, Heart of the Underdog, but for dark monsters. So it's it could be very interesting uh, card to use as well. All right, let's see what else. We're almost we're narrowing it down. This card is actually really good too for a stall deck. Um, players cannot attack face down monsters during this turn. So if your opponent tries, if you, you play this card on your opponent's turn, so for those who are using um, uh, the Wormwood deck. Definitely uh, a playable card just to stall them out for another turn. So, very interesting. Alright. Triple Star Tryon. I have never seen this card before. Another Veil of Darkness. Come on. We gotta get some Ultra Rares. Come on, guys. Come on, Karibos. Oh, man. Come on. Doomsday Hard Off. All right, all right, still nothing. All right, that's it. Unfortunately, that was a terrible last 10 packs. We got no Ultra Rares that time. So that is it, guys, for today's video. Um, I know I really don't do pack openings like that, but I hope you guys definitely enjoy the pack opening, the pack analysis, and uh, let me know what you guys are looking for. What, let me know if I, I missed anything that you guys may think that it can actually be even good if I just may happen to overlook it. But those are my opinions of the cards that are really good. Definitely strong in ultra rares, very playable in all these cards. Um, some of the SRs, not too much, but I digress. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you guys think about this set. Let me know what you guys are trying to pull, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.